<laughs> Healthy food that tastes like comfort food, it seems too good to be true, but however, it is not. Chef Dan Churchill is here to share one of his delicious recipes from his new cookbook, Eat Like a Legend, and you can scan that QR code to follow along. Hi, Dan, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm, I'm great, mate. What, what are we making? Yeah, what are but, we doing? Eat yeah. Like a Legend, that yeah. means you work with some legends. I do you? work with some Ooh, legends. Athletes, actors? Athletes, actors, everyone who, in between, yeah. everyday legends as well. Okay, can you help stand-up comedians who live with their mother? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I need the help. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, my whole thing is helping people perform their best, whether or not they are an actor, you know, they're a celebrity or they're just an everyday Who, who have you worked with, just out of curiosity? Yeah, uh, name so you got, like, Lindsay Vaughn, uh, oh, yeah. Chris Hemsworth, oh, an absolute yeah. legend. Oh, look at that photo. That's a great Ooh. one. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been an amazing career. It's been okay. awesome. I've loved right, it. so we can all eat healthy. And, and now I'm here with tasty. you guys. There you so go. we're going to make a sweet potato gnocchi. This is in Ooh, the Eat yes. Like a Legend recipe book. Okay. And the idea behind this is to showcase how you can use sweet potato instead okay. of starchy potato to What's actually... What's so much better about sweet potato? Look, personally, firstly, the taste is so much better. Yeah. The second thing is the fact that sweet potato contains a lot more micronutrients, which is called the fifth macronutrient, uh, to help you look after everything from okay. your hair, your eyes, skin, everything. So, and I take it okay. you don't get like a big blood sugar spike when you're eating sweet potato gnocchi. Yeah, exactly, okay. you don't. So, oh, and okay. still contains all the amazing goodness. Now, over here we've got some sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. First thing you need to do is just preheat your oven to 425, and then, yeah, you're going to poke it. Poke it. If right. this is like you had a bad day at the office, <laughs> or you would like, have some fun, yeah, get into it, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So you pick it all over so it doesn't explode. We've got okay. some salt just down the sheet tray. Okay. Whack that in the oven about 45, 30 minutes, and then it's going to come out, and there's your meat. All right, so okay, we're taking right. the skins meat. out. Meat, uh -huh. exactly. We've got some double zero flour here, and so the recipe calls for a certain amount, but I always just go by eyesight, all right? So in there we've got that. What, what's double zero? Yeah. Double zero is a stronger flour, so it's better for things like bread, pasta. You okay. can get it from any supermarket. You okay. can you can look it up. It's, it's fantastic. Okay. So inside we've got Parmigiano, it's got uh, some eggs, mm. salt and pepper, and then right. just going to mix that together. Now, you guys have got your lovely nails done, so I'm not going to yeah. get you to do that. <laughs> but essentially, you would mix that together. It would form a awesome dough ball like oh, this. Okay. All right? okay. You'd put that plastic wrap in the fridge for about 30 minutes, uh -huh. and then you can just roll it out like this. Now, okay. I reckon you've got this. So yeah, see that? I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heather, Heather, I got this all day long. Yep. Thanks. You can also just use a butter knife. And so this is a really Could fun you? thing to do with yeah. kids, nice. obviously as a family, or just honestly, it's quite a therapeutic thing to do in general. <laughs> and so once you once you have <laughs> <laughs> Let it all out. Let it all out. So from there, you're just going to chuck into boiling water, which yep. has been salted, some of the sweet Gotta potato salt the water. Exactly. Okay. And people say, this is a bit of work. It's actually not when you think about all you need to do from this point on is once you poach these for about three minutes, you can actually then strain them and then freeze them in uh, any form of container that you, you know, see fit. So you're and not cooking them all the way here? No. I'm essentially, you, essentially what's doing, you're cooking the inside and the outside is going to get a nice little uh, caramel. Uh, like this. The pan after, but at this okay. point now, you can just take them out and store them and, and, and put them in a pan when in, exactly. Feel like exactly. It, yeah. So in here, we've just got some butter. We're going to add in some garlic as well. Mm. And this is the point of the cookbook. At this point, I wanted to make sure people had a variety of sources they knew how to use. Mm -hmm. Really simple, mm -hmm. good for you. And uh, and ultimately, we've got our gnocchi made. So in there, we've got that. We're going to add in some broccoli rub for a little extra Ooh, bitterness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got sage. Yep, love it. Actually, quite an aphrodisiac, I found out. So what? yeah, Is just it? yeah, apparently found it. Oh. <laughs> from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> That's a moment. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes that. And so essentially, like, from the actual cooking of the gnocchi to actually making the sauce is about five minutes. That's right. really simple to create. And That's why goodies over here. Now, oh what's, is there a difference between these two? Yeah, or they just, yeah. What, yeah. so we've got a broccoli raw version over here ah. and then a pesto version. Can you pass me a fork? I should sure And so inside the yes, book, yes, you've got please. the sauces Try. themselves. There's three different options. Uh -huh. But mm. the cookbook itself, Eat Like a Legend, is uh, helping people from mm. anyone That's learn how to delicious. cook. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. How'd you make that pesto? Pretty simple, right? Mm. Making your own pestos, mm. anything in a food processor. Mm. All the ingredients are there for you as well. So mm. we've got, we, we got you covered. That is so yummy. It's great. Wow. Way to go. Thank you for this recipe. Go to today.com slash food. You can create an account and save on all of your favorite recipes. And up next, dessert. We're going to rank our favorite donuts. See if you agree with us after this. I love what we're eating today. Wait, this is so good. Stay tuned.